Will somebody please cue that fight? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh, yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping up crime, and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Ceviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter uh, makes a heck of a lunch. Uh, and little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here comes the <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. Out of my tail. And you're gonna get hurt. Don't hurt me. <laughs> They're fighting crime all over town. Three, two, one. Pizza cats are on the run. The big cheese is the villain who's lower than low. It's a rotten shame. He lives in little Tokyo. Got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Our story begins at the pizza parlor, so famous it's known around the block. This soda's for you, Lucille, from yours truly. Since you're so special, I made you these special fries, my sweet. Oh, thank you. Lucille's here to see me, Speedy. Go chop some bologna or something, will you? Hmm, that's your specialty. For example, since you're so special, I made you these special fries. That's enough bologna to last us for a month. I was speaking metaphorically, of course. Females appreciate the semantics of romantic hyperbole, no doubt about it. Per Holy smurbly, you're still what? full of bologna. This bologna pizza is too, and it's gotta be delivered right now, so get going! How about a different approach? Please, fellas, would you do me a favor and deliver this pizza? That'd be a whole lot nicer. Absolutely correct. You'd never hear Lucille being rude like that. On the other hand, when it comes to fighting bad guys, Polly's really great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Polly's a great fighter, but if she went to charm school, I don't think she'd make it through first grade. Ah! I said? <laughs> I love a good laugh. <laughs> Among other things, he paid real silk. Huh? Let's see. Hey, are you nuts? Nope, it's polyester. And so are you. You get it? Got it! <coughs> Who are you and what do you want? Why, I'm Charlie Bird, but I'm known as CB to my friends. The Lighthouse Club, Charles Bird, proprietor and star maker. Absolutely, Lucy Babe. I can make you into such a big star that you'll be more popular than Sonny Bodo. Wow, a star. Wouldn't it be great to be a star and have all those fans adoring you? Coolsville. Standing on stage with thousands of people screaming your name. In the spotlight. Writing off our clothes as tax deductions? State and federal. <laughs> our clothes. I was referring to Lucille over here. Either I do it with Polly or I don't do it at all. Well, I, uh... The first thing we'll need is a name. I, uh... I thought of a great one just the other day. Yeah, but... Uh... Sure, I remember. We'll be the, the Pointless sisters. sisters. What a name. It's cool, it's far out, it's really stupid. A rock and roll show? What are you talking about, Francine? Just who's supposed to sing at this nightclub? <laughs> Me? Oh. And Lucille is, too. Come on, you gotta be kidding. Maybe Lucille could do it, but Polly's voice sounds like kitty litter in a trash compactor. Or a huge parrot that's trapped inside a lawnmower. Please! Parrot, huh? It's e that's what I mean. Yep. Polly the superstar. I'll tell you what, Polly. If you've got what it takes to be a star, not only will I admit I'm wrong, I'll climb onto the railing of the town's highest bridge and stand on my tail till I've set a new tail standing world record. Gee, Speedy, wouldn't your tail get awfully sore? <laughs> Piece of cake. This tail has developed a new <laughs> twist. For even as Speedy is setting the new world record for the feline free four months aboard a bridge rail tail stand, the live house is rocking and rolling with cheers and applause for Little Tokyo's newest stars, the Pointless Sisters. Now the 
things have changed as you can see. themselves the Pointless Sisters? You gotta admit, it describes it perfectly. Who is it? It's us. How's your tail, Speedy? A little sore? I was great, wasn't I? Admit it, huh? Wow, you are totally tubular, super stellar, killer, cool, and you're also pretty good. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to say. Your beauty and your angelic singing speak for you, my sweet one. My only regret is that now you'll have so many admirers, you're bound to forget me. Here's hoping. Goodness me, you two are so sweet. Let's hit curtain end to the line, you two are out of here. I was just about to tell you you were great tonight. So I was great? What do you mean by that? Oh, yes, you're a star, but the Polly I knew is gone forever. <laughs> My friend Polly has disappeared thanks to you. And we'll miss her because of our feelings for her. Feelings like this. Good <laughs> 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 oh, boy! Nice seeing you. Come back and visit real soon. Like maybe in a couple of hundred years, all right? So do you think Polly's upset? No. No, she's just a helpless slave to rock and roll. Huh? What's that? It's weird. They all want the Pointless Sisters' new record, but how'd they find out about it? They're all psychic? I don't know, Speedy. I just don't know. Hmm. Meanwhile, geriatric and the big cheese are molding a mad, menacing musical scheme. What else is new? Just as I thought, the Pointless Sisters are becoming a huge hit. My plan is working perfectly. Yeah, I gotta give you credit, Jerry. These posters were the best ID I ever had. Real nice look, a couple of babes, you know. What is your point? Point. The point is these babes here. Come on, which one do you like better? You fool! You idiot! Take that back. You're right. Uh -huh. You're not an idiot. You're a moronic imbecile. <laughs> Meanwhile, the pusillanimous plot of pillage and plunder planned by the Reddle and Roden Wreckers rushes onward. The footsteps of hordes of zombie-like creatures echo through the darkness. And watching the grim procession is the avian entrepreneur, some call Charlie Bird, but who is in actuality the infamous Bad Bird. <laughs> You narrators think you know it all. Well, listen up, Mr. Smarty Pants. While those girls were singing, they were sending out energy waves that'll make those people do whatever I want. And they don't even know they're doing it. <laughs> Smarty Pants, know it all? Well, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. For the next few minutes, I'll be in my trailer phoning my agent. My contract does not include being insulted by animated animals. For once, Big Cheese and Geriatric were right. This plan is perfect. Our giant robots are unstoppable. <laughs> my agent isn't returning calls. I'll act professional and continue. Now back to our story. I can hardly believe it. Wow, what a deal. I ordered this telescope from a discount catalog and got it for 50% off. You're almost as cheap as the guys who produced the show. Speaking of cheap, Jerry, I've been wanting to ask you something. Huh? What do you mean, cheese? It's about these robots. You see, this part here is completely empty. Can you explain that? <laughs> I, um... Gotcha. You've always said that you're never wrong. Ha! Can't say that now, can ya? All right, I admit it, it's not perfect, so sue me. What do you expect from a low-budget cartoon like this? Perfect or not, the gang's evil plan is scheduled to begin at the crack of dawn. Good morning! Anyone for a little destruction? Yeah! You're going to love this, folks. Yeah! 
I spent a week building that set for the next episode and I don't get overtime. Well, that's showbiz. Hey, I didn't want this gig. I'm only doing it till my screenplay gets sold. I've got a screenplay. That's what all you giant robots say. Is there a part for me? Yeah. The giant robots move forward, powered by the feet of the poor unfortunates under the hypnotic control of the big cheese and his gang. But where are they going? And why? <laughs> Go on, hurry up. Soon the weapons of the Shoguns will be all mine. Well, that answers that question. Meanwhile, the samurai pizza cats are jumping into their ovens. Are things really that bad? Only for the bad guys. Samurai pizza cats. They make great pizza, but that ain't all. Samurai pizza cats. They're ready to fight. When you need them, just call. They know how to stop crying. Just do what they say. If you don't want a bad time, stay out of their way. <laughs> oh, I love those cats. Samurai pizza cats. The heroes who always wear fur. <laughs> Attention, please! Hold on to your hats, because it's blast off time for the Pizza Cat! The countdown's just about to begin, so grab your earplugs and put them in! Hope y'all enjoy the fun! Four, three, two, one, showtime! Mom, why are there three cats up there in the sky? Superheroes are basically insecure and desperate for attention. Hear what she called us, though? Superheroes. Within a short time, the ancient weapons of the Shoguns will belong to us. That's what he thinks. Yeah, that's what you uh. think. Guess who? Samurai Pizza Cats. Lucky guess. Aha! <laughs> Guido is carrying his favorite weapon, the Samurai Sunspot Umbrella. Also called the Parasol Doom. Polly prefers the Passion Power Firepod. Because the power of love will win every time. You bet. Speedy Ceviche, Ginjo Swordmaster. It slices, it dices, it hacks them up. Great for chopped liver. It's the Samurai Pizza Cats! Cats! Three ludicrous cutesy cats in armored leisure suits aren't gonna stop me. Destroy them! Either oatmeal or sawdust, Speedy. Uh, perhaps we can decide which is the correct choice at a more opportune moment. Attack! Use the spinning cat removal system! Yeah! Gee, I hope this works. The stand-ins we used in rehearsal are still in surgery. <gasps> Like going up for a spin? <laughs> yeah! Der Sieg bei Zenibon? We need some reinforcements right about now. By means of the vibrational transmitter in Speedy's bell, Francine is alerted to the emergency. Sounds like there's trouble. We need the general on the double. General Captain, priority one! Who are they fighting this time? Giant robots, they're not doing too well. I know they're in trouble. They rang the bell. Gotcha. I'm out of here, friend. Put Now I'll have my giant robots get ready at once and for all. Attack! Hmm? Well, well, look who's here. Greetings, General. Take your robots and scram, or I'll turn them into scrap. Go on, move it. <laughs> you mind telling us what's so funny, Bad Bird? Attack my robots, go right ahead. But first, there's something I want to show you. What? Oh, no. Bad news. You said it. What? No attack? What's wrong? <laughs> yes, of course. I forgot about that. Second door on the right and left the sea. I was talking about the robot, Seymour. That empty space was part of my plan all along. I knew if we filled it up with people, those cats wouldn't attack them. Brilliant planning. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Once we have the magical weapons of the Shoguns, no one will be able to stop us. Those weapons are right behind that wall. Our robots wouldn't move without those folks on the treadmill. I suppose you'd like to know how we got them to work for us. Just let them go, you vicious avian villain. You folks are venomous, fucked your... You have to for both my glorious vandal. What? You heard me. It so happens that those people are there because of Polly and Lucille. Abalone! Shellfish, you have nothing to do with it, you muscle-bound shrimp, so clam up! Those people in there are all fans of Little Tokyo's newest pop stars, the Pointless Sister. <gasps> when they gave that concert, they were transmitting hypnotic energy waves mixed with subliminal messages. Those suckers in the audience never knew what hit them. But the really stupid ones were the Pointless Sisters themselves. They fell for my Charlie Bird routine, hook, line, and sinker. How dare you call us stupid, you slime-loving, scum-sucking, slug-swallowing, garbage mouth piece of criminal worm weights! He can't get away with that! What do you think, Speedy, considering the fact that he's right? Score one for the bad guys! Well, I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, yeah of course, course you are! are. You asked for it? So now you're gonna get what you asked for! System to put them out of action. No! No way I'm gonna fall for that trick again! Nice try, guys! Now you learn what this sort of mind can really do. Can't say it was nice knowing you. Bye now! The magical Dinju Sword will cut through anything. The toughest steel, the hardest cement, the frozen fruit came from last year's Christmas party. The steel of the Dinju Sword is forged from a formula known only to the smelt masters of the ancient shoguns. Again. You know, I just love it when he says that. As usual, the big cheese is a lousy loser. This is your doing, you idiot. Let go of your lunch, you and tail golden. Everything is back to normal in Little Tokyo. No one has any memory of the Pointless Sisters. What matters is friendship. Fame. You're right, Speedy. Having fans doesn't mean anything. What's important is loving yourself. That was nice. <laughs> Thanks. Uh -oh. I have such wonderful huh? friends. I love all of you so very much. <laughs> <laughs> With friends like that, who needs enemies? <laughs> Pizza Cats! Our adventure begins with the Pizza Cats winning another battle for peace, justice, and the right to wear flea collars in public. But things don't stay peaceful for long, for in an effort to build a more powerful weapon against the Pizza Cats, Big Cheese arranges to import some brand new technology from a far off land. How about electric toenail clippers? But Speedy gets wind of this and calls the Pizza Cats into action. <laughs> Of course, the Big Cheese has a few tricks up his sleeve. Pizza Cat Robots! <laughs> Will this be the end of our feline friends? Will Big Cheese get his new technology? Will Emperor Fred discover what planet he's on? Find out next time as we take a toxic taste of the super spud called the Nuclear Potato! On the next Samurai Pizza Cat! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The Pizza Cats are Samurai, and I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away! Like fur balls in your throat! We kittens are a special breed, we never call retreat! Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We land upon our feet! 
So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Am I right, Pizza Cat? If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh.